Bree, good evening. What I'm learning today is that this was a preventable situation where those two lives did not have to be taken. Speaking with firearm experts today, they tell me that private gun sales like what happened this morning are illegal here in Nevada and that others can avoid making the same mistakes. Preliminary details of the call were that the two individuals came to the apartment to purchase a firearm. Just before 5.30 a.m. Friday morning, inside an apartment in northwest Las Vegas, a private gun sale gone wrong. Uh, during the negotiations of that firearm, they decided they did not want to purchase it. Uh, they just wanted to take it without, the, without paying for it. The seller then struggling with the two buyers, shooting and killing them both. According to police, no arrests have initially been made. But firearm experts say the exchange was likely illegal. You have to have a background check regardless of whether it's a private party sale. Nevada's background check law going into effect in 2020, an effort to close some loopholes following the 1 October mass shooting. Of course, I'm sure they probably took the firearm into custody, um, but when it comes to the individual, because two people have, have passed away, I'm really surprised that individual wasn't arrested. Many details from Friday's homicide remain unclear, but penalties for breaking the background check law could mean up to five years in state prison for a second offense. All private sales now having to go through background checks at an FFL, a federal firearm license location, like the range 702 near Legion Stadium. So that would be done by filling out one of these, which is a 4473, and then the FFL will hold the firearm while conducting a background check and then release it once the background check has been processed by Metro. If the buyer doesn't pass, the FFL will take control of the gun until any party can pass a background check. The Range 702 says they have a handful of guns in a safe from sellers and buyers that never passed their own background checks. Doing it in a safe place like this, uh, you know, where there's there's armed guards everywhere and it's very safe and regulated is probably already recommended anyway. And I just got off the phone with Metro Police and they tell me they tell me still no arrests have been made and this remains an ongoing investigation. But bottom line, based on what I'm hearing from the experts, is to stay safe and to follow the law. You have to go through a background check at one of those FFL dealer locations. Reporting live from Metro headquarters, I'm Brett Forrest, News 3.